Storm Debbie has come and gone, but our river communities are still feeling the impacts as some waterways have started to crest. In fact, the Waccamaw River, the Little PD, the Great PD, they are all in or at least forecast to reach major flood stages. And ABC 15's Gianna Forbes talked to our regional National Weather Service today to find out what they are keeping an eye on and what residents should look out for. She joins us now live in the studio. Gianna. Yeah, Jen and Andrew, as much flooding as we've seen in the last week, we may need to prepare ourselves for possible cresting in our rivers at even higher flood levels. The expert I talked to today wants everyone to be prepared. From Hurricane Matthew to Florence and now Tropical Storm Debbie, rivers carry some of the greatest after effects from storms. The levels at Conway are influenced by water coming from upstream, you know, from longs, but they're also influenced by water coming down through the Little PD and Big PD systems. Three rivers in the major flood stage set to crest early next week, including the Waccamaw and Conway. The 14.5 being the forecast at Conway, um, based on your experience, maybe prepare for 15 at Conway and take action according to what you normally see for 15 feet of Conway. Upstream and downstream effects from Debbie causing river forecasters to expect higher cresting points and water to flow backwards, sometimes causing overflow from the Little and Great Petey rivers. They can bottle up the exit from the water from Conway and sometimes it results in Conway experiencing higher water at the gauge than we might otherwise see. Concerns about the Little and Big PD Riverway have counties like Marlboro on high alert into next week. They were watching and we're ready to respond at any time, so we stand on that. Having river gauges has helped the National Weather Service track the forecast numbers. The worst floods are always because of water coming out of the Waccamaw PD, Little PD. And Newer says forecasting the levels for all three rivers can be extremely complicated. He suggests those who live along the river stay flexible going with the flow, but prepare for more rising waters. Now the Waccamaw River is set to forecast and crest a week from now, and others like the Little PD and Great PD are set to crest in the next two days. Reporting live in studio, Gianna Forbes, ABC 15 News. Gianna, thank you. Now the National Weather Service says they will continue tracking the cresting numbers as well as the